so for our performance, I chose to do Iago Sugoloqui from the film Othello. It was Act 2, Scene 3. And in his soliloquy, he pretty much just expresses um, his plot that he's doing against Othello. He expresses how it would be easy for, for him to plot against them without him being played out to be the the bad guy or anything he was actually going to use his wife with the, um his wife Desdemona and um another peer of his Cassio to to destroy Othello and to and to destroy them all that was his whole goal was to just destroy them all and how he and in his speech he expresses how he's going to do that and pretty much he uses Desdemona because she has such a good um kind-hearted nature she use he uses her to push the more to like Cassio but in turn then Iago was telling Othello how they had a connection they had a thing for each other they were having an affair you know telling him these lies but he was telling them to Othello as if he's being a loyal friend so Othello um believes him and Iago know, knew it would be easy for Othello to believe him because he knew how weak Othello was and he saw his insecurities that he would see Iago as being an honest and loyal friend to him. When in reality, he was plotting against him to destroy them all. And um, that's pretty much what his words meant in his speech. Um, as far as Iago's character, in the film, he is very sneaky, malicious, conniving. Um, he portrays himself to be a loyal, honest friend to others, but in reality, he's scheming against them. Um, that, and then in his, even in his soliloquy, um, there's not much feelings that he's expressing. He's just very content and content with the plot that he's plotting against Othello, his so-called friend, um, that would kind of see him, he shows he's powerful in his soliloquy. He shows how powerful his words are that he can make others believe him or believe the chaos that was never really going on. And his words were so powerful that it impacted Othello that it did create this huge dysfunction between all of them and um you know it destroyed them all and it ended up killing them all and we kind of see in his soliloquy his true character whereas in the beginning of the film we see him you know portraying himself to be that good loyal friend to especially to Othello but in his soliloquy as the audience we kind of learn who he really is we see him plot against his friend we see him really finding out the weaknesses of others or their strengths and plotting against them that we don't really see in the beginning because he's portraying himself to be um a good friend to Othello and the others that they do trust him but in reality they shouldn't have so um yeah so he's kind of sneaky that's his character and yeah, thank you guys.